had to delete that last video because I didn't like the the way the video was coming out real small. This is the back end of my automatic spark gap. I got a custom built servo with a handle going up on it. The handle is going to be, I'm going to take a, a round disc and I'm going to put a gauge on it and a little arrow and we're going to have it marked off in thousands like a spark gap and we'll know the distance on the back part of that that's my coil that's my garage that I'm sending power down to that's my antenna okay come over here this is the opposite end <clears throat> on my spark gap using a quarter inch tungsten and let's go ahead and touch the wire and we are going to watch pull out let's see go back in and we're gonna back it up and we're gonna go into each other We'll back it up. This will give me real good control. And like I said, we'll put a disc back behind here. And this arrow will come up and we'll get a little spark gap gauge. And we'll do all the percentages around there so we can see exactly where the spark gap is sitting. If you want a constant spark gap, I'll be building a rotary gap also for this system automatic <clears throat> pretty cool um, yeah I'm gonna build a little rotary gap later today it's gonna put the poles into here the release through here we're gonna keep this constant we go into this we're gonna get rid of the top load and we're gonna send it to my uh, inductive tuning coil which will come out my antenna and then we're going to do the same thing down there, capture it, and we're going to put some meters in place and see how much power we're pulling, how much is going into the system, how much is being transferred. It's about 150 feet away. I guess I'll pull tape on it at some point. But you guys have a good day. I didn't mean to delete that last one, but I didn't like the way the video was um, came out. So anyway, peace out, brothers. Power Elite Scallon. Tesla.